Okay, welcome to episode 22 of the Android App Review Show. Had a whole week off, uh, been in Germany, but it's given me plenty of time to use this week's app. I'm going to have a look at a key- new keyboard this week. Um, Swipe, it's called. I won't go too much into the technical details. Yeah, you'll get to see that in a second. But um, it's supposed to make typing faster. That's the idea. And I uh, hope it does. Um, there's a few problems, but I'll again I'll talk to you those I'll talk to you about those in the show. So let's just dive straight in and have a look at the app. So here we are. I've uh, moved inside from uh, being outside um, simply to avoid glare. So um, you can see the screen perfectly. Um, so yeah, let's just jump in. Let's go somewhere where I'm going to get a keyboard come up. We'll go into my email because that way I can uh, not reveal too many sensitive details like friends' mobile numbers and stuff. And here we go. There's the keyboard straight away. Um, looks just like a normal QWERTY keyboard. Um, let's just get rid of it. Let's go into the Compose mail bit because then I've got more space. Um, basically, you drag your finger across the keyboard to all of the different parts that you want. Oh, oh, all the different letters you want, and the phone, or keyboard even, will guess what you were trying to type, and p- do the word for you. So, um, let's, let's just do hello world, shall we, the standard one, starting at H-E-L-L-O, and then world. It will automatically put in spaces. Uh, I had set that up in the options, so um, I'm not sure if it does it off the bat, but I just liked it, so I didn't have to keep on pressing space. So here we go, H-E-L-L-O. Oh, that hasn't got it. Um, I was a bit, um, a bit wayward with my uh, swiping there, but um, you can press this button and it will use that word and you can select something else that you might have meant. So I meant hello, and then world, W-O-R-L-D, world. It won't give you that all the time. I mean, for instance, it, it does do quite a good job. I mean, uh, last week during the World Cup, I texted someone to say that I was... Um, watching um, a football match with a load of Mexicans uh, last week while I was in Germany and Mexicans see Mexicans I mean I wasn't even particularly accurate with that and it managed to pick it up Um, there are a few things that get on my nerves like writing all A double L um, ask did it did you mean ASL it won't actually have a double L Um, for doing words with a double at the end I often do A and then do a little squiggle on the L to let it know that I wanted that more than once and and see that picked it up there Um, uh, it works perfectly fine as just a standard um, keyboard you can do all the normal stuff my fat fingers got that wrong Um, it will auto capitalize I for you, which is quite handy. Um, it will also, if I do I'm, it's got I capital apostrophe M. Um, that's quite handy. Um, you've got a symbols keyboard here that you can get all of that. Um, you can, this, this is the options button you see, look. Um, it's opened up this tutorial, more tips, or you can dive straight into the options. Um, the one, the another down, another downside is when you go like this to landscape, keyboard still works fine, but um, it's just frustrating having the spacebar over here because obviously on all other keyboards that I've used, the key, the spacebar is in the middle, and it's much easier to I can type 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 and then type type type, and because now I'm over this side quite a lot, yeah, it's it's orientated over here rather than being in the middle, which is a bit annoying. So um, I will often find myself to putting in the wrong things when I'm just typing with this, if I can't be bothered to use swipe. Um, uh, It's supposed to speed up typing, that's the idea, it's supposed to speed up your typing, so you can just, I mean you can just literally just willy-nilly just, I see, if you get a bit too fast it doesn't, so that's the main problem, it will speed up typing. but. I like cheese, uh, but I am off. I am all the time. I'll type something like little, um, and then I'll wait to see if that's got that that word right, and then I'll move on to the next thing. So it's not 
speeding up an awful lot because I don't have the confidence in it because there are a few times when it's got the word wrong, especially that ask thing. You see, it just oh, it's, well, it's starting to it's starting to get it now. I think I th I think it learns, which is quite handy. It's starting to get it. Um, there are other things like. Two, if I meant double O, it just gets annoying if I'm going fast. I forget to like do the little squiggle on the O. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, it, it does work very well. It needs to just be a little more accurate. I mean, there are things in the options. Let's just go to options. Oh. Um, there, you have things. See, all, these are all the options: auto spacing, which I like; auto capitalization, also capitalization, I like; word prediction. I haven't had that turned on. I might try that. Um, tip indicator. That would just flash the little tip button. Audio feedback I turned off because that got annoying. Vibrate on key press so that I know I've pressed it. Uh, you can have it, it displays the trace. How long it displays the trace? I have it display the trace all the time. Here you go: speed versus accuracy. I have it on fast response. So. Um, that it's quick to type, but you could obviously do it all the way to over to error tolerance. Um, the auto select word, if it comes up with the, the word selection screen, you, after 10 seconds that will just select the word itself. And you've got the help and the version and stuff. So, yeah, swipe, very good keyword. It looks really good as well. Um, the idea is sound, the theory is sound. It does work in practice as well. Um, I just wish that. Um, it was a little more accurate, but maybe if I turn all the accuracy up rather than the speed, then that might help. But I just like it to be fast. I like it to not dawdle and be f be quick in its decision making of what word, so that I can type quickly. Well, there you go. So that was swipe the um, the keyboard. Um, very clever. A uh, very clever way of inputting stuff. Um, yeah, it does speed up my texting, but yes, I am obviously always looking to check what it's written in case it's got the word wrong. So it does slow down a little bit, but when, as I get used to it, I'm sure um, I will get faster. Um, no QR code this week. Uh, that what, what I was using at the time, or what, what I am using even, is, um, is a beta, and you have, to put, you have to sign up to participate in the beta. So if you go to the Swipe website, which is just there. Um, you can register an interest and then be involved in the beta. They'll uh, send you a link. You go and uh, download the installer. The installer downloads the appropriate version for whatever phone you're using. And um, so it can be easier. Um, I, as I recommend it. Uh, there's a few flaws that I mentioned, but overall it's a very sound concept and it works they've implemented it well so um and it's free so give it a go so um so yeah that's all that i've got this week um not sure about next week's app i'm sure it'll pop into my head at some stage uh if i have the time with all this world cup fever um so thanks for watching I've been Tom Ranson from TomRanson.com. This has been the Android App Review Show in association with CoolSmartphone.com. You can contact me in the regular ways. Email me, Tom at CoolSmartphone.com. Uh, follow the Twitter, at Review Show, and uh, find us on Facebook. Or comment this YouTube video, of course. I always forget that one. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.